Good afternoon, my name is Pup. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics that shows how to make and use a diary. You've got a calendar that's built into the top panel and it's a pretty good calendar. You just tap on it and it shows you the month and you can go from month to month. You can go from year to year and you can go from day to day but what I want is a diary and I want a diary so that I can look dates up for events, appointments, birthdays, look back and see what I did on a certain day and so forth. Surprisingly the thing that I'm going to be using to make the diary is not a word processor but rather I'm going to be using a spreadsheet and a spreadsheet although it seems as though it would be not applicable for this is actually the best thing to use. I'm going to open up Office LibreOffice Calc. I've got a bunch of other videos that show how to move the screen around and zoom and make fonts larger and I invite you to look at those videos. This is an open spreadsheet LibreOffice Calc and I'm in column A and I'm now highlighting all of column A and if I wanted to I could fill this in with dates starting January 1st all the way down to 30,000 days in the future but instead I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm just going to select 366 days today uh, this is a leap year in 2012 I'm repeating repeatedly hitting the down a page down key and I've got to 366 and now I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to fill and I'm going to fill the series and the series you you can do this uh, by putting in a start value of 1 and an end value of 366 and it'll just fill in that column with numbers but instead I'm going to put in January 1 2012 and I'm going to end December 31st 2012 and it will fill in all of those cells with the date However, the date is not formatted correctly. So you've got to go to Format, and you're going to go to Cells, and then you're going to go to Number, and you could just go to Date and select from the ones that they have suggested. And the ones they have suggested pretty much fill in every contingency. Uh, however, I'm very fussy, so I don't see one there that I like. The one that I want is, it's going to show day of the week, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or it's go and then it's going to show in the, the month and then the day of the month. So I'm going to put in user defined, and I'm going to go day 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 space month 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 space day day and hit OK and that's got what I want in column B I want to move that over because my notes might be very long on some calendars they divide the day up into hours and I don't find that necessary. I'm just going to usually put in one or two things and I, if I want to put in the time I'll just put in the time. I'll just say uh, 8 a.m. meeting uh, at work birthday Sam and report due 
Now, look how it ran off. There's a way you can get around that by going to Format, Cells. We're going to go to Alignment. Wrap text automatically. OK. Except I need to do it for the whole column. Off, on. And now anytime you go over, it makes room automatically. So let's go to the top and we're going to put in birthday uh, let's let's see uh, meeting parent teacher association boy scouts and so on when you are looking for something you just go control F and let's put in meeting and it'll find it. That's one meeting. Do we have another meeting? Yes, there's another meeting. Not only will it find text, but you can select the entire spreadsheet and it will find any date. So let's go uh, 214 Valentine's Day and there we are uh, 815 and there we are you've got to save this and uh, give it a name and I'm going to go file now normally when you save there is a spot in your file system that is automatic under documents but I'm going to save it as on the desktop and I'll just call it D so when I close this it's going to show up right here is D and I can open it back up now I wanna show a couple more things you can do with it with uh, view if you want to you can get rid of column and row headers and it looks pretty nice this way if you want to divide up your diary into years you can take the tabs down here where the sheets are named and call this 2012 and then you can make another one for 2013 I suppose if you wanted to go to the trouble you could make the tabs January through December uh, I see no purpose in that if you actually wanted to you could as I had mentioned earlier just have 30,000 uh, dates down here you'll never run out of room just put all of your calendars in there perpetually now I'm going to save this again after saving it once as a save as on the desktop there on after the computer knows to save it in that same location I want to be able to retrieve this thing and there's different things you can do probably you will not be leaving it on the desktop but uh, you can put it anywhere and pop it up here into the panel and let us say this is not on the desktop but rather it is somewhere else in your file system then you can just tap on the panel and it opens it back up that's one way of getting it rather quickly there is another way of getting it rather quickly this is more complicated you go to system preferences main menu 
and I'm going to just oh put it here new item and is this an application yes I'm going to call it D for diary and what's the command D for diary ODS I have to open it, but that will not do the trick. I have to type in LibreOffice and here it is down at the bottom. It added it in. Now I will close the main menu and I will go to applications and here it is. That's the second way of opening it. I have a, another tutorial video that shows how to open up uh, your keyboard shortcuts in system, preferences, keyboard shortcuts that's right here and it opens up the keyboard shortcuts for that matter and this is sort of a, a weird loop back thing a thing that refers to itself you can make a keyboard shortcut to open up the keyboard shortcuts and you type in this command gnome dash key bindings dash properties let me close that and here the uh, shortcut that I put in is alt windows key and K for keyboard shortcuts the windows key is called mod 4 so I'm going to hit alt windows key K and there's the sh keyboard shortcuts now I'm going to add a new one and th and this is going to be my diary and here's the command Libra Office and then what is it home pop desktop D O D S S is for spreadsheet D is for diary O is for office and I think that's right. I, I hope I spelled everything correctly. Let's see if that works. Oh, I have to give it a, a shortcut name. Let's just, for the grins of it, make this one be Alt-7. Oh, I've already got one. Let's go Alt-6. Alt 6. No, I'm using that too. Gee. Oh. Well, Control Alt 6. Control Alt 6. Close. Now, if I did everything right, Control Alt 6 will open it up. There I am. So that's one way of opening it. Close it. Applications. That also opens it up. Close it. And then where's my... Didn't I put one up here? What's this? Yeah. That opens it up. So there's three ways to quickly get to your uh, diary and uh, it's very handy I mean I can't live without it even though I haven't used it for six months right that's how it goes you have something and you goof with it and then later on you say well why am I messing with this why am I even doing this I should be over here using the one that Ubuntu gave us and use some sort of uh, mail program but See, this will teach you some stuff on how to use a spreadsheet, how to use the menu, how to use the 
keyboard shortcuts, how to use the panel, how to format, how to fill with dates. Uh, for, for that matter, let me quickly now show you how you can goof with the, uh, let's just take this one cell right here and uh, format it a little bit differently. Cells. Let's say, for instance, that we wanted to also put in the quarter of the year. Oops, it's not big enough. Well, now we'll have to make this wider. Let's see, column and row headers. You have to have your column and row headers up and active. See how I got the third quarter in August? Well, I certainly do hope that this was entertaining and that you drive some benefit from it. And uh, this is just one method of making a diary, of course. And I thank you very, very much. My name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of other YouTube videos out there. And all of them are entitled either YouTube, uh, not YouTube, Ubuntu Basics or Spreadsheet Basics, and I never know how to title these things. I would certainly like to hear from people, and I hope that people enjoy this and enjoy learning about Ubuntu. Thank you very much.